Rugby World Cup, of course, is taking place in Japan, and while there are many New Zealand pro players and coaches plying their trade in the country, there aren't many Kiwi kids doing the same. However, one Hawke's Bay export is making waves on the Japanese scene for a multitude of reasons. Warner Dearns is a lock in the first 15 for his high school north of Tokyo, as well as playing in rep rugby teams. Rugby reporter Joe Porter caught up with Dearns, the son of former Silver Ferns netballer Tanya Dearns, who moved moved to Kashiwa with his dad, a, to- a trainer for the Green Rockets top league team. Obviously I stand out quite a lot <laughs> on head and shoulders above most people. Yeah, walking through Tokyo and stuff like that, you get the people that sit and stare a bit. There's quite a bit of interest in it, and the big, tall foreigner with blonde hair that looks very different to what everyone else looks like. At 17 years old and six foot seven, Warner Dern stands out like a sore thumb in Japan. And while his size is an advantage on the rugby field, it can prove problematic off it. The cramped up subway trains are the worst. I think that's just horrible. Yeah. And shoulders all up in your neck and everything's like that. Dodging through human traffic is hard for anyone in Tokyo and saying sumi masen, which means sorry, excuse me, is a common occurrence. However, Dern's size gives him an edge when push comes to shove. As a big lad, how did you find moving around? A lot of sumi masen? Yeah, a lot of it. When we first got here, it was sort of everything was sorry, excuse me. Um, yeah. Eventually, you learn to be a bit like them and be a little bit rude in walking through the station. You have to be a little bit rude because otherwise you're just dodging people. So you, you'd find sometimes when you're walking through the station, you'll get a couple of rude people who are just like, I'm going to go this way. You're going to get out of my way. Obviously, I'm a lot bigger than some of them, so you're going to have to get out of my way. Sorry. Warner has loved his Japanese experience and his new teammates, though the model of high school rugby is intense with training all year round, even under the heat of the summer sun. Some days it's 38, 39. With the sun glaring down and the reflection off the artificial turf, it's pretty, pretty tough. Training in that heat means a lot of calories get burnt and Derns has to consume vast quantities of a Japanese staple to keep the weight on. A lot of rice, have a kilo of rice just for dinner. Tasty? Yeah, no, not, not particularly, but in the morning you have rice, lunch you have rice, and then dinner you have rice. And that's where Warner's dad, Grant, comes in. A strength and conditioning coach, he makes sure his son is well fed. Luckily, I get paid enough to be able to afford food for him. He eats far more than I remember eating at that age, but you know, yeah, he's quite a bit of an expense, to be honest. Grant and Warner have been in Japan for a couple of years now, while mum Tanya works for Netball Cairns and lives there with her daughter Kyra. Grant says it's harder for him than it is his teenage son. He's of that age, he, <laughs> he doesn't want to talk to parents and sisters are just annoying, but yeah, for me, we just don't get the, the daily sort of a wind down with uh, the wife and that, you know, um, we talk on the phone and, and through the messenger and all the rest of it, it's not quite the same, you can't spend the same quality time. Dad Derns has embraced the Japanese culture, though he concedes some things grind his gears. We appreciate so many things about the Japanese culture that probably a little bit more uh, respect and, and courtesy. It can be a little bit frustrating at times. We get emails at work about some of our boys riding with one hand on the handlebars rather than two and people in, in, the, in the society are emailing the company moaning about our rugby players not obeying the bike rules. Warner harbours dreams of being an All Black and says the love for the world champions runs deep in Japan. Absolutely loved. <laughs> it's crazy. When they came over here, they had a camp in Kashua. Days. It was crazy. You walk through the station, you just see black jerseys everywhere. I love the haka too. Yes. <laughs> we actually had to do the haka. We had a Kashua haka made up. We performed it to five of them. It was pretty good. If he continues on his path, Warner may well end up performing the haka as an All Black himself. In Kashiwa, Motihotaka o te ahi pōnei, ko Joe Porteraho.